Drums Downtown is um, basically a percussion ensemble concert that's taken up to a whole different level. You can feel the energy in a very different way when the music is live. This event is really special for myself, Joe Krieger, and the students because we're um, working with other artists, working with dancers, um, choreographers. It started out just as an experiment to get some um, music events off campus. My name is Susan Hadley and this year is my seventh year with Drums Downtown. My name is Megan Durham and I'm choreographing for Drums Downtown 2010. My name is Olivier Torpaga. The fact that I'm a percussionist doesn't mean all my dance is all about percussion. Uh, my name is Susan Powell and I'm an associate professor and director of the percussion program here in the School of Music at Ohio State. My name is Joe Krieger and I'm a senior lecturer here in the School of Music and also an accompanist with the OSU Department of Dance. Drums Downtown this year has a format and it has to do with four influences in percussion music. The fife and drum snare military tradition, the jazz tradition, the African tradition, and the concert percussion tradition. And there's a movement piece for each of those traditions. I am choreographing a piece this year called Coffee Tunes by a Swedish vibraphonist and composer Anders Ostrand, who will be visiting and playing this piece live. Percussion obviously is innately visual, but we tend to stay in one place, and so if you add the element of dance to percussion, I think the result is just uh, really dynamic. It's something about tying movement and music together in this particular situation that is the most important for me. One of my agendas is to make the music visual. We've been given John Cage, one of his earlier works um, called Third Construction. I have 13 dancers and it was a new ensemble and so I'm really curious about the dynamic of an ensemble. I came in with problems, physical problems for them to solve, and a couple of open improvs of just having them show me how they like to move. I also brought in a lot of information about the piece, because it has a very clear rhythmic structure. But I'm going to clap every time I have fives, just so your ear goes to that, mm -hmm. not because I don't trust you, so just kind of be aware. So that's what I'm trying to bring forth with the dancers, that same sense of layer and texture, and that together, in collaboration with the music, we're creating a brand new environment, a brand, brand new interpretation of this piece of music. Uh, music from Japan, uh, some music from Brazil, Indonesia, uh, West Africa as well. Okay, once you get that out of five, just go, go down. Okay. Each individual brings something uh, amazing, different than anybody. This guy can be just start dancing today, but he can do a small little thing that you never be able to do. A small little way to look at you, you'll be like, wow, you know, you will have some layers of, of West African influence, uh, oh. very high energy because I need that somewhere. And... Uh, percussion doesn't just exist in the back of a, of a band or orchestra, but really can have its own unique solo voice. As a musician, a lot of stuff happened on stage, which means like technical stuff, problems can happen on stage. It's live. You need that human touch. Okay. 